wash our stress out like it was shampoo. You should stay. It can change. There's good days and bad days. But one day down the line, this time is sure to stop. So the only time is now for the club. No pushing in. Oh, no, I wasn't pushing in. Um, I was just saying happy birthday to my mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. What are you doing? It's my mum. She's worried about my maths grades. She said if I don't pass this test tomorrow, she can stop my pocket money. Not going to work. Yeah? Welcome to being skint. Lads, have a little face, OK? Might even stop off at the library later. Oh, yeah, cos you know where that is, do you? I'll have a portion of your finest chips, please. Come on, that's like one chip. New portion sizes. If you don't like it, tell the catering manager. Sweet, and, uh, give me that, please. Me. Happy birthday, love. I hope you get something nice. It's my birthday too, you know. Date of birth. Really? You're going to test me on my birthday? Mash? Chips? Sorry, love. He had the last of them. Just can't. I'll give you my chips back, you stinking no good chip jacker. Zoe Marie, get off. Guys, stop that now. Get off, Bunga. Fine, you want them that much? Have them. It was her. It was him. It was them. What's the bell? Let me help. At the last staff meeting, you told me that you had those... those gangsters under control. We're making progress. These are difficult times, Mr Harris. Elmsmere simply cannot afford to support underperforming teachers. I'll sort it. You had better. So it had better get sorted No more of this poor kids underperforming I'm sure it's not just me Cause I've been trying to engage them all the time But they just look me in the eye And then decide I'm not the guy that's ever gonna get through to them What did I ever do to them? Why am I raising hooligans? I need to find a way to get their attention Make them think of others How their behaviour affects them Make sure that I bring some real change for them a magic tactic, maybe I should brainstorm I could chain them all together for a week Teach them how to compromise and work as a team Or they could learn to rely on others if they were blindfolded Then perhaps a little gratitude, they might show it Or PC Road could arrest them for a short, sharp shock They could taste the school of hard knocks huh. What a dumb three plans, guess it must be That my brain isn't really working cause I'm hungry I can never think straight when the tummy's rumbling Look at this mess, that's how far discipline's crumbling Chips over here, over there Wait a second, I think I might have just stumbled across my secret weapon <laughs> What do you call a crocodile that's also a pirate? An alligator! Oh my days. Am I awake? What is that in your hand? It's Captain Crocodile. A scurvious reptile on the high seas. I'm practicing for my entertainment badge at Scouts. So, what do you think? I don't like it. Get me eggs. Well boring. I could see your mouth moving. Of course you could, little girl. I was telling you jokes. <laughs> well, it's ventriloquism. It's cool. I think you're mistaking the word cool for disturbing. Disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Scouts isn't about being the best, it's about doing your best. And this is your best. Mate, do us all a favour and never show us your worst. I knew you wouldn't understand. What, because we don't have a special friend made out of felt? <laughs> no, because you've never been to Scouts. Well, why don't we come tonight then? What? What? We can see how it all works. And if the other acts are as bad as that, it's gonna be hilarious, mate. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, the library. Oh, and he said I'd never find it. Result. Sorry. Good old maths. Mm. No, there are people out there playing football when they could be in here, you know, doing maths. The big M. The science of numbers. So, how do you actually... Do you not understand the meaning of the word quiet? Uh, Natalie, you forgot your... Why are we doing detention outside? He's finally cracked. He's going to make us dig our own graves. <laughs> ah, I see you found the school allotment. More like a manky piece of mud covered in old crisp packets. Not for long. Mr Bell was very disappointed by your behaviour today, and so was I. So? I was well disappointed I didn't get no chips. You don't see me waving around spades at people. What made you so special? Wasting food is disrespectful to the people who bought it and prepared it. So, I'll be teaching a lesson about the value of food. By taking us to go and get a pizza. Thank you, Mr. Harris. By getting you to grow your own potatoes. It'll be fun. They do this in prisons. So we have to get all Mr. Bloom just because Ding Dong got oil on his blouse. If you can't hack the time, don't do the crime. So, um, how does this work? We, uh, build a work worm and then snark the photo of the Queen? This is a big night for me. If I get this badge, you'll have the most in the troop, so no messing about. Chillax. It's all good. These your friends, are we? Maybe. Get a load of that spotty hat. So got to pinch it. <laughs> I wouldn't bother. I don't think the green would go with your eyes. No, mate, I didn't Relax. even... Relax. Welcome to Scalps. My legs are well dizzy. This is like one of those intense pain, fat burning sessions with Tandy down the wreck. Only I don't get no bundle steel, which is well unfair. Okay, the tension is over. I'll see you back here same time tomorrow. Tomorrow? Just think, you could be tucking into a homegrown spud in just four months. Four months? Well, four and a half. I'm gonna do my back in. I'm gonna have to sleep on a chair like my nan. I come in at night and she's sat there in the dark. It's well creepy. This is well outrageous. I'm telling my mum on you. Seriously, sir, I think you need to rethink this one. We're not giving up. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Found something? No. Some more worm poo. A scout is loyal. A scout is friendly and considerate. A scout belongs to a world. Scouts are proper gold to him. Am I right? A scout has courage in all yeah. difficulties. A scout makes good use of time and is careful of possessions and property. A scout has self respect and respect for others. And also, we have some newcomers today. Say hi to Eli and Nira, everyone. Time now to try out for your entertainment badge. This is going to be better than the X Factor editions. Hello. Eli, Nero. Might be a bit boring watching. Why don't you join in? <laughs> 400 quid. <laughs> oh my days.
teachers all some moves. Time now to hand out the badges. So we got Benjamin, V, Zach, and Ian. And the scout in the group with the most badges, Owen! Come on, Owen. Owen. And a special thanks to Owen for bringing his friends along today. You're welcome anytime. And our regular it's meeting so is every sporty. Thursday at about 7 o'clock and most weekends. Nice. And you can check it all out on our website. <laughs> You look done in, mate. How spud club? Jury's out, but I have hopes. Trust me. The only thing those kids can grow is fungal foot rot. <laughs> um, wouldn't it be just easier to put a video on and do some marking? Maybe, but it's less fulfilling and more likely to lose me my job. Mr. Harris, put a meeting in my diary to discuss revamping detention. No need. I've got them working outside, digging an allotment. Hard labour. Physical punishment. Mm -hmm. I like it. Actually, it's more about teaching them to respect the value of. Not too shabby, Mr. Harris. Do let me know how you get on. This treasure hunting ain't no way to write a say in books. And ain't as fun or easy as the movies make it look. That website said there might be hundreds buried here. So I just have to dig the same spot or very near. But I've been digging three hours with this grotty spade. And all I've found is three pens and a dolly's face. Now I stink, my arms hurt. I'm in pain, bruv. And I've just seen a worm in my trainer. Oh, but I've got to keep going. If there's more gold here, I don't want no one knowing. Cause it's my gold, man. I found it first, so ain't no other nitwit digging round my dirt, though. Cause that'd be just my luck Some spud cashing in for their first big dog This is my gold, my gold, did I mention? Gotta get it all before they get out of the tension I gotta keep hold of the gold I gotta keep hold of the gold If my body turns cold and old, covered in mold, don't care I gotta keep hold of the gold Oi! Watch it, bug breath! You know what, Isaac? You're, you're right. I wasn't respecting you or your personal space. What are you say? After you. Right. Okay. Right. Scout laws three and seven. A scout is friendly. A scout is considerate. And a scout has respect for others. Who are you? What have you done with my friend? Get your mud feet away from me, Carter. I've already got enough earth dust. Miss Harris' prison sash. <clears throat> I fell over playing football. Since when did you play football? What? Hey, um, you ready to flunk your maths test, genius? Please. I'm gonna pass this test so hard, my mum's gonna give me a raise. <laughs> Mate, the only thing your mum's gonna raise is the roof when she finds out you've got a big fat F. We'll see. Shut up! Got... Okay. We've all got our books, and we can start the test on page 76. Pens down. That's it. How'd it go? Easy as one, two, three. Uh, yeah. I knew that. That's Newman. You finished your test early. And you got... 97%. You're joking. My mum's never gonna believe that. In a... in a good way. It's clear this class isn't stretching you enough. I'm gonna recommend you be moved to the top set. You what? But... I mean... Well, yeah, it's about time. Good. I'll get the wheels in motion. What last five seconds? You see, that's where you're wrong, my melon-headed friend. I've got a book with all the answers. Guess what? My mum just phoned, said she went totally through Barton Harris and the whole thing has been cancelled. You're joking. 
No, because someone could trip him and fall into a hole and die, and then they could sue the school for like a million dollars. Then they'd have to close down, and Ding Dong Harris would have to like live in a bridge or something. Back to you lines in a nice warm classroom. What's going to happen to the allotments? My mum said that she told him just to like cover over a concrete, like build a bike shed or something that you can't fall into. Cool, right? Yeah, that's that's really cool. <laughs> Guys. It's solid gold. Sir! It's okay, I get the message. I don't need any more parents screaming at me. I'll tell Mr Bell the allotment scheme isn't going to work. Well, don't. Yeah, shut it. We actually well want to do it now, and you can't stop us. That's against our human rights. Your mum told me... Yeah, you... I changed your mind. Is that a crime? Anyway, I'll fix it. Josh showed us the error of ways, sir. He um, showed us a whole new angle to digging. Yeah, man. You saw how full of beans I was this morning. Yeah. I was thinking that if potatoes were successful, then maybe we can move on to more challenging veg. Spinach, pumpkins. Oh, yeah, I, well, like for the pumpkins. They're like my favourite big brown orange thing. Well, OK. Yes. Yes. Ah, what am I supposed to say to Mr Bell? I've got an emergency appointment. Oh, you'll think of something, Tim. You're actually quite clever for a teacher. Come. What's the problem? Problem? I don't have a problem. Oh, really? Why then do I have an emergency meeting scheduled with you to discuss... Four o'clock club? Well, actually, I just wanted to invite you to see them in action. <gasps> Let the victim see the attackers sweat their sentence. I would like that, Mr Harris. That's very thoughtful. As I said, it's more of a scheme to get... However you need to dress it up, I think we both know what's going on here, Dexter. I'll be there tomorrow afternoon. Arm and finger? Oi, Veg Patch! Kids not buried you alive yet? You do know that sticks and stones will break your bones. So try not to let the kids near any sticks and stones. <laughs> Actually, the allotment's going well. Few teething problems, but they've really taken to it. Yeah, right. Mm. Steady on, guys. We're digging for potatoes, not Australia. Well, you know, we're just trying to make room for all the dangly bits, sir. Uh, the roots. Yeah. Them is the rascals. Oh, what? Here. Take my mask, I picture. Thanks, mate. Go on, Isaac. Doing very well. Come on, guys, keep digging. Making really good progress here. Oi, will you start doing some work instead of pretending to fix a big dizzy spoon thing? What? With my bare hands. <laughs> what? What's behind your back? N nothing. We've all seen it, so you might as well hand it over, Mr. Treasure Stealing Treasure Napping from Treasure Island. It ain't anything. Aha! We're rich. What? Oh, well, this ain't Roman. Is it? I'm taking it back from my brother, okay? He likes action man things. How am I supposed to trust these mutts? Four o'clock club regulars, I must be nuts. They ain't in detention for nothing. We're talking about professional levels of lying, cheating and bluff. So we're a treasure hunting team, but if they're that cold, then you know for certain they ain't gonna share that gold. Gotta keep an eye on every one of them. Just what? We should keep an eye on him. I know I don't trust you. I mean, how we know he won't flip and take the treasure and leg it? That was our plan. If he does that, I'll never forget it. I kind of regret this How can we be sure That Goldfinger's really gonna split it with us all Yeah, what about you though, Mr Tricky Dicky Saying if you found it first you split it 50-50 Typical, I always knew you weren't a proper mate Hey, I just want my cash so I can go adopt an A I need that money, wanna buy these real nice jeans And I wanna get a poodle who looks just like me But you can guarantee if it's left up to Carter We, we can kiss all of our wishes to buy for starters Look at them all, what are they all staring at? You can play at that game, mate. I'm staring back, might even raise an eyebrow for good measure. These lot are so selfish, this is my treasure. I know they're plotting, I know what this lot did. Any plans they got quick, better stop it. I'm watching you, I'm the pilot, I'm in the cockpit. I'm watching you, I'm watching you, I'm watching you, I'm watching you. Watch it. Quick bit of maths, then we'll get out there digging again, yeah? 
Maths. It's my new favourite subject. And to think your mum really believed that you passed that test, did she? Big time. She's up in my pocket money, and she says she's going to take me to Fountain Fun Park. I heard this kid carked it there on the log flume. He was so mashed up that they had to bury him in his log. But if I'd have known being smart was this fun, I'd have wised up years ago. And you're sure you want to come to Scouts again tonight? Bang up for it. Why? Well, it's just... Come on. It's not really for kids like you, is it? People change on. Or oh, you can put him to upset maths. Right, class. Mr. Barber is away today because of personal issues. <coughs> Divorce! All right. So I'll be taking maths. And you've got a brand new class member, Ashley... Newman? That's right. Ash is in the place. Believe. Shut it, Newman. You can work with Harlow. Sir? No, sir. <sighs> Didn't realise I was a maths genius, eh, guys? Pipe down. You'd better not bring down my grade average. Happy to take this one of my own, little lady. You see, I think in equations, you know? Long division. Could do that stood on my head. In French. Demelza's dad is three times as old as Demelza. The sum of their age is 52. How old is Demelza? I can't believe we haven't found any of this Roman cash. I know. It's rubbish. Hey, what do you say? The two of us go down there right now and any of the gold we find, the two of us will keep. Plus one what if you always find out? Equals 52. Hey, Four D. Sir, could us two just go to the bog? We really need it. Oh my days. Traitors! <laughs> Thank you, sir. I tell you about the gold, and this is how you repay me. Yeah, and what are you doing here now anyway, you little sneaks? Well, we came to check that no one else was stealing our gold. Rubbish, you're gonna take the gold just like us. What are you lot doing out here? Uh, so we're just really excited to um, plant these spuds. So yeah, we couldn't help it. Guys, it's Ace you're so into it, but you really should be in lessons, okay? Now get back to where you should be. Let's go. Guess we'll just keep in detention. And if you find any gold, it's ours, Chip Steve. We have to get those two out of detention. What are you looking at, Chip Steve? Good luck with that. Is there a problem? Well, so, you asked us to do the equations on page 360, but there isn't a page 360 got the wrong textbook. We've finished that one. We've moved on to the red. Here. Um, sir, is it all right if I use the old one? It's just, I'm a very gifted student, you know, and I like to do my own thing. Yeah, um, here's an idea. Do the work or do detention. Hey, Natsuka. No. How about you do the work in French, standing on your head, on your own? <sighs> Sir! What? Wait, no. You, you don't know what you're doing. Found fun park. Sir! So we tell Dingnot that I stole them chips and that the bus stop in the canteen was all my fault. That way he'll have to let Zoe Marie out of detention. What are you doing here? Ah, Carter. You're off detention for a week. Zoe Marie confessed. She what? I owned up in it. I told Belle what really happened, that I started that chip rumble earlier. You totally... Outplayed you. Don't cry too much, Carter. When I'm rich, I'll buy you a new triangle for your recording studio. You're all in detention. Definitely. Got busted for cheating at maths. Detention is on call, home. People change, huh? He's not supposed to be in detention. Mr. Bell said so. Josh Carter, not in detention. Hmm. Didn't think my scheme would work quite this quickly. What have you done, Zoe Marie? Tell everyone and their dog about the gold. No, I didn't tell no one about the gold, Josh Carter. So I got all accused, like, oh, silly Zoe 
Marie, Tiago, two minutes about going gold, gold, gold. Oh, excuse me, haven't you heard? We found a flaming Roman gold coin. I ain't stupid, all right. What's this about a gold coin? I found this when we were digging the other day. My lucky coin! What? I wondered where you'd escape too cheeky. You must have slipped out my top pocket. Wait, so you're saying that was yours all along, meaning that we're not gonna all get rich? Ah! Oh. So you lot weren't excited about digging for the allotment? Sorry, sir, but Beg is well going. We were all about the gold. I knew they weren't doing their scouty best. They were lying and scheming. Come back! You can't just walk off! Doesn't mean the laws don't make sense. Right, Owen? Don't know anymore. I might not even go to scouts tonight. What? Well, scouts was my thing. You had your thing, dancing and whatnot. This was mine. No, it's... I don't know. What is going on, Mr. Harris? This is an effective punishment in an outdoor environment. It's some sort of group ramble. And what is that? We'll fill it in. Yes, we will. And then we will have a long discussion about your progress with this four o'clock club. Fair play, Dex. That really is one lucky coin. You came? No, you would. And you're leaving? Yeah, quick. Why? Because you finally realised that scout law is a load of bog wash. That is right. Sorry, mate. No bother. Some people are born scouts. Some people have scouthood thrust upon them, and others just can't hack it. Laters. Has anyone seen me hack? Do you come back to the dark side eventually? I am. I realised the best way to be a good scout was to let Owen have his own thing to himself. Scout law two and three. A scout is loyal and friendly. Oh, so you're still all scouty? In here, Eli. Eli? Oh, it matters. Right, so... How annoyed are you going to be when I tell you that our next spotty Alex is hat? Eli, my hat, Eli. Come back with my hat. Look at the right side. At least it'll make you a good scout and never come back. Eli, no, no peg it. My hat, Eli. 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 Can't live with them and you can't kick them out. When they're up, they rub it in your face. Kick you when you're down. But when no one understands them, you know what they're on about. Always going to be around. Got to find a common 